Hello, I'm Reverend Jill. Welcome to our daily reflection for Wednesday the 22nd of April. Our reading today is from Ephesians chapter 6 beginning at verse 10, the whole armour of God. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his power. Put on the whole armour of God so that you may be able to stand against the, the wiles of the devil. For our struggle is not against enemies of blood and flesh, but against the rulers, against the authorities, for, against the cosmic powers of this present darkness, against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. Therefore, take up the whole armour of God so that you may be able to withstand on that evil day and have done everything to stand firm. Stand therefore and fasten the belt of truth around your waist and put on the breastplate of righteousness. As shoes for your feet, put on whatever will make you ready to proclaim the gospel of peace. With all these, take the shield of faith with which you will be able to quench all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. This is one of my favourite Bible passages. It's so descriptive and every time I read it I can picture someone putting on the whole armour of God. The belt of truth around the waist, the breastplate of righteousness on their chest, and the shoes for the feet, whatever will make you ready to proclaim the gospel of peace. There's the shield of faith, the helmet of salvation, and the sword of the Spirit. And Paul tells us to be strong in the Lord. This is the biblical PPE, which we can use against any dark forces we come up against. It might not be masks and gowns, but it's still PPE. Although I love this passage, I have found it very difficult to write this reflection. Tom Wright, author of many books on the New Testament and previously a Bishop of Durham, says that over time he has tried to write about passages like this, dealing with spiritual warfare and something goes wrong to delay his writing. I'm not even trying to compare myself to Tom Wright but I thought I would find this easy to write, write about, but I didn't. I found it very difficult. Paul was trying to warn the Ephesians about dark forces in the world and how to protect themselves from those forces. This isn't some horned and hoofed devil coming into our lives like it's portrayed in films. It's much more subtle than that. How does it creep into our lives and influence us so we find it hard to practice our Christianity? We often find it hard to forgive people, hard to pray regularly, hard to resist temptation and hard to find the time to learn more about the faith. I think we can all relate to these and each one may seem like a small struggle in our lives, but they can become part of something bigger. And sometimes it can be hard to see the bigger picture, picture and know the destruction that can occur. Who would have thought Brexit would have brought so much division to the country between Brexiters and Remainers? Fake news is rampant on social media and in our newspapers. Mentioning no names, some of the newspapers don't seem to care if what they print is true, as long as it sells more papers. There is gossip which starts off small, but every time it's passed on, it's embellished so eventually it bears no relationship to the original tale. These things hurt other people. Pictures are airbrushed to persuade both men and women that they are fat, ugly, too short, too tall, wrong hairstyle, whatever. And this goes on until they feel so completely demoralised and can't go on. Injustice needs standing up against. There are so many things we need to fight against that are wrong in this world. So every day, 
Put on your armour of God to protect you against the arrows that come from the dark world. The world was dark in Paul's time and remains so today. The past few years seem to have been so full of selfishness and greed and people not caring about other people's thoughts and feelings. So we've got the armour of God, the belt of truth. We have the truth of the Christian message to support us. The breast, breastplate of righteousness, the justice and goodness of God will protect us from an attack. The gospel of peace. Jesus brought us a message of love and peace. Hold on to that message and it will help us to stay upright and not be knocked over by life. The shield of faith. Belief in Jesus as the risen Lord will protect us against the arrows of doubt or despair. Protect us against temptation. Protect us against arrogance born of triumph and many other things as well. The helmet of salvation. We're always safe in the knowledge that we are part of Jesus' Christian family. The sword of the spirit. This is the word of God and the word of the gospel. Read it. Remember it. Meet God in it. Being a Christian doesn't mean we won't suffer hardship, injustice, pain and dark times. But we know we aren't alone in these times. We have the risen Christ to protect us and give us the strength to keep going. During this scary time of the pandemic, let us stand up against the negative news and social media posts that cause us to stumble. We are all afraid, but those that can should support the elderly, the sick and the vulnerable. Despite the negative press, there are amazing deeds being done in love by ordinary people. And those are the people we should be taking notice of and not all the negative stuff that comes out every single day. Amen. Thank you for listening.